then in 2006, there were a small group of us that were just trying to find a credible Democratic candidate to run against the Republican incumbent. And come that November, uh, before the election in the next year, every one of them basically said no. And so a friend of mine looked at me and said, well, you're gonna have to run. And I literally laughed at him and said, look, I've been there, I've done that, uh, and jokingly said, you know, come on down to the office tomorrow with $10 million and we'll, <laughs> we'll talk about running for governor. Uh, but he said, no, I'm serious. And during the course of the next few weeks, as we were talking about this, he handed me a card. Guess what? Teddy Roosevelt, the man in the arena, was on that card. And you talk about sending a chill up my spine. <laughs> and he had no idea of how that, how that quotation had, had been a part of my life 20 years before. But to make a long story short, I got back in the arena and uh, uh, won the primary, a seven-way primary that May, and then beat the Republican incumbent in November. So, um, you know, finally I had known that triumph of high achievement that Roosevelt talked about. But I tell you, I appreciate it more, quite honestly, because I'd gone through the other before. And that uh, is a kind of an illustration, John, of, to me, one of the main traits you gotta have to be a leader. And that's the daring to fail. That's why we entitled this session that, uh, because uh, if you're not willing to take a risk, if you're not willing to lose, because anytime you take a risk, there's a chance you're gonna lose. Mm -hmm. If you're not willing to do that, then you're, uh, in my mind, you're never going to accomplish a whole lot. 